Hey there, welcome to my office and welcome to another Chancery Chatter newsletter. It's been a while since I've made a video. The last few weeks have been very full, uh, although very good. Between almost 2,000 miles of travel to visit parishes, help with retreats, uh, visit college students all over the state, and also running interviews uh, for Prayer in Action, Totus Tuus, so that we can get the workers that we need uh, to staff those programs throughout the summer. And then also this paint project that's going on here at the Chancery. It's kind of stuck at the halfway point, thanks to all the rain. Uh, but I'm thankful for the rain, so it's okay that it's taking longer than expected. And uh, all of that to say, this morning I was in here with my son, telling him I was going to be making a video today, and he thought it would be really important for you to know this thing that he just learned. So you close it, and then you go like this, and it goes like that, and then it's locked. That's how you do it. Why does it stay locked? Because this one is taller than this one. Ah, I see. Honestly, it was pretty amazing, as I'm sure you know if you have kids to watch like a few seconds prior to that moment, he did not know how the lock mechanism worked, and then he figured out how it worked. And so I just thought I'd share with you uh, some, some insight into how the locking mechanisms work on file cabinets. The main thing I want to talk about in today's video and in the, in the newsletter is that uh, as we get closer and closer to the summer, things are, are coming together and Prayer in Action, Totus Tuus, Camp Crystal Ray are up in terms of registration. Uh, the, the registration is online, it's ready to go. So you can check that out on the website. The links, of course, are in the email. And there are some new things that are going to happen this year with all of those programs. Uh, they're all changing a little bit, mostly due to COVID. And I'll let him explain how Totus Tuus and Camp Crystal Ray are going to look. Uh, for my part, I wanna let you know that Prayer in Action is going to be a commuter experience this year. So there's no overnight portion. Uh, there's also no showers on site like we normally would do, so prepare for your teenager to ride home a little stinky, and also know that the cost is being reduced because of some of the things that we are not uh, providing, like all the extra food and things like that. So so there you go. That's kind of a snapshot of how Prayer in Action will be changed this year, but I'm very much looking forward to the summer. Uh, I just, there are all sorts of reasons why missing last year was uh, detrimental, I think, um, to the progress of it, to the momentum that was coming behind it, uh, but it is what it is. So we are going to try to make something happen this summer for our youth uh, and for our local communities, and, and then hopefully we'll continue to grow from there. Hello, everybody. So as Gentry mentioned, we are really excited for summer missions to happen this summer. Um, Totus Tuus should be happening relatively normal. We've got two teams ready to go, um, and we're going to be hosting seven weeks at the parishes, so we are working on getting that ready to go for you guys. As far as Camp Cristo Rey goes, we're going to try something just a little bit different this year. So we'll have four one-day-long camps from nine in the morning to five in the evening at four different locations all around the diocese. Um, so those locations will be Clark County Lake, uh, Horse Thief Reservoir near Jet Moore, Scott Lake, and Camp Aldrich near Claflin. Um, and so that, that camp is for middle schoolers, so those students who have just completed fifth grade through seventh grade. Registration for that is open and on the website. If you go to the youth page under summer missions and click on Camp Cristo Ray, you should find it. Okay, I think that was good. Thank you, Emma. Uh, the last thing is that I appreciate the people who participated in the trivia game last week. Uh, Daniel Schneider was the winner. He guessed that this picture was from St. Joseph the Worker in Tribune. And uh, there's a new picture in the email this week, so whoever guesses that one right, uh, prizes will be coming your way. As we enter into this Holy Week and uh, we all get our oil changes done at our parishes and and then the Triduum begins and all, all of this is going on, know that I will be praying for you and for all the young adults in our diocese. And I'd ask, of course, that you pray for us here and the work at the Chancery and also for my family. And uh, I'll see you in Easter. God bless.